What's good, people? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Heavyweight division is going crazy, people. The heavyweight division is fucking crazy right now. I don't ever, ever remember it being this fragmented. Ever. Like, never, ever, ever, never, ever. And um, the latest news is that Deontay Wilder is in serious, serious talks with the zone. Not Mickey Mouse conversations, serious conversations. So much so, there supposedly is a meeting scheduled with the zone bigwigs, Deontay Wilder, Al Heyman, Al, Al, and Shelly Finkel. So that's his management team, right? That's the whole of Deontay Wilder's management team is about to have conversations with the zone. If I'm the Showtime execs right now, I am fucking. Not fuming because he's a free agent, but I am shaken. I'm shaken. Um, you've gone from potentially having or wanting Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder on your platform, which would have been ginormous. You had Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, which was very, very good. And you were supposed to get Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury too. Now, all of a sudden, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you ain't going to be happy. You ain't going to be happy. Um, I've always said... <clears throat> Um, fuck loyalty in boxing. I've always said it. I've always preached it. And that's not because I'm an unloyal person, because I'm certainly not. But this is boxing. This isn't football. You're not on five-year contracts. Um, soccer for the Americans. You're not on five-year contracts. You, it's not like you get injured and, you know, you, you're going to get paid for the next five years regardless, or you get a massive payoff. This is boxing. You go into the ring, you get punched in the face. I'm sorry, there's absolutely no loyalty for getting punched in the face. It's who's going to pay me the biggest check to get punched in the face. That's all I care about. That's it, done, nothing else. And if you're Deontay Wilder, you're 40 plus fights in, Deontay Wilder is 33, gonna be 34 soon, I think. It's about time to start cashing some of those big checks. He would have got the biggest check he ever got against Tyson Fury. It's about time you stay on that level. If not, go higher, right? If you can, go higher. I mean, he would be looking at the, some of the numbers that some of these people are getting in some of these recent deals. Right, Tyson Fury might get up to 80 million. I mean, he looked at what Canelo's getting, he knows what Anthony Joshua's getting. He's thinking, wait a minute, I'm a I'm a big star here. I want some money. I want some cash. I mean, cash me in. And uh, we know that he spoke to Top Rank or Top Rank sent out an offer to him. And he must have thought, fucking hell. You want to pay me what? And the zone obviously thought, you know what? We can top that. I don't know. Where are the zone getting all this money from? Where does honestly, the zone. They must be funded by El Chapo, but the zone said, we can top that. And if you're Deontay Wilder, you look at that, you look at what Showtime are paying you, and sorry, again, F the loyalty shit. Pay me. Pay me right now. And I think it makes sense. It makes absolute sense for him to go and talk to the zone. And it makes sense if they're offering a bucket load more, it makes sense to sign with them. Again, it's not just hearing what ESPN and Top Rank are willing to pay Tyson Fury or hearing what um, Canelo's getting or maybe even what Usyk's going to get. Hearing what GGD's getting as well. I mean, we're hearing that GGD could get a two-fight deal of 40-plus million dollars. If you're Deontay Wilder and you're hearing that, you're on the phone to Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel and say, look, we need to speak to these people. So I think it makes absolute sense to go and speak to them. And what it also does, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist, is it brings the Joshua versus Wilder fight potentially closer. It does. Obviously, they both got tasks to go through. Um, Dominic Brazel for Deontay Wilder, uh, Jarrell Miller for um, AJ. But, I mean, surely if they get through those, they both could be on the same network. I mean, come on. Surely this makes it easier now. No? Surely it does. Um, what for Dominic Brazel versus Deontay Wilder? I mean, that was going to be on Showtime. It was going to be on pay-per-view, um, which a lot of people weren't happy about. But it had to put it on pay-per-view just because Top Rank offered Deontay Wilder so much money for that Tyson Fury fight or the Tyson Fury fight that will happen, that um, the Showtime big was had to match that. So although they didn't want to put that fight on pay-per-view, they had no choice but to chuck it on pay-per-view. Does it still happen on Showtime? Does it still happen May 18th? Don't think so. I don't, I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. Um, the fight still will happen, but it's more likely, if he is in a serious conversation with DAZN, it's more likely that fight happens on DAZN as well, which is crazy. I mean, if you haven't signed up to DAZN and you live in America, I don't know what you're waiting for. Again, what is the cost? $12? So for $12, potentially, the next three months coming up could show you what we got. We've got Usyk and he's come back or he's first fight heavyweight. That'll be on DAZN. We've got Canelo Jacobs. 
we could have Dominic Brazil versus John Z. Wilder and Jarrell Miller versus Anthony Joshua. All coming up in the next three months. I'm sorry. If I'm in America, take my money. Take my fucking money. Because all four of those fights potentially could have been on pay-per-view in the States. All four will now be shown on the zone for eight pounds a month. Eight pounds a month. What do you guys make of this? Um, what do you make of what's going on in the heavyweight division right now? Everyone seems to be moving. Everyone seems to be thinking, look, I'm going where the biggest checks are. In the last two months, we've had Kubat Pulev go to top rank. Um, Joseph Parker, I think, has signed some sort of TV rights deal with top rank. We're hearing that Gillian White will go to top rank. Um, who else has moved? Tyson Fury, obviously, to ESPN and top rank. Um, Usyk signed to DAZN. And now we're hearing about Deontay Wilder signing to um, DAZN. Potentially, then, we're probably going to hear about Dominic Brazil, maybe, also signing to DAZN. So a lot of movement and changes in the heavyweight division. And I like that. I think that boxers are now getting wise to the fact that, you know, because of the competition, there is competition between those three, by the way, top ranked DAZN and Showtime. They're getting offered money that they could never have seen before. Trust me, if DAZN didn't put their feet into this water, um, boxers still would be getting paid low money. Because the zone have now come in and started to shake things up a bit, these networks are offering money that they really don't want to, but they're forced to, to keep the little stars they have. Think about this as an example of that. Um, we know that Deontay Wilder got paid um, $2.1 million. That's the official payment. I'm sure he got a bit more. Um, $2.1 million to fight Luis Ortiz. Now they were saying, I read, that potentially to fight Dominic Brazil, he would have got 12 5 $12.5 million. So in the space of a year, he's gone from getting 2.1 to 12.5. I mean, again, boxers are getting paid nowadays and long may it continue. I'm really happy to hear this. Um, what do you guys make of this move to the zone? Good, bad, uh, not good for Showtime, good for the zone and that platform. They've been struggling to get a marquee American name. So they've got Good, obviously, Mexicans with Canelo and other guys, but they haven't got a marquee American. Uh, Boo Boo isn't that. This is a marquee American signing now, and I wonder if the floodgates were now open. With Al Heyman supposedly going to this meeting with Deontay Wilder and Shelley Finkel, I wonder if the floodgates will now happen. And if they do happen, um, it's massive for the zone, bad for Showtime. Really, really bad for Showtime. What do you guys think of it? Let me know. Peace.